Millions of Americans have ongoing back pain. In fact, it's the leading cause of disability in people younger than 45. Now, a new state-of-the-art robotic surgical guidance system is allowing surgeons to perform safer and more accurate complex spine surgeries. Here to share more about this fascinating new development, Dr. Moaz is with Tri-City Medical Center. Good evening, doctor. Thanks for being back with us. Thank you. All right, so just how is how common is back pain? It's actually super common. So chances are both you and I will have back, point, back pain at some point in our lifetime. And in the United States as a whole, about 80% of the population will have at least one episode of severe debilitating back pain. I was really surprised by that number. I mean, 80% and, and you said severe. You know, you're not just Correct. saying the so average. actually see a doctor for it. Right. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about this new technology. We were one of the first cities in the nation get this, right, right? here in San Diego, yeah, we're one of the leaders in robotic spinal surgery. Uh, when we had the robot come to San Diego, we were number eight in the country. Now there's up to 60 or 70 robots in the United States, so it's rapidly growing. But right here in San Diego, there's been over 700 robotic surgeries, which is one of the highest in the United States as a whole. So this makes some complex spinal surgeries much safer and more accurate. Tell me why. It really does. So the robot is really a state-of-the-art navigation system, and it's pointing out here what, what happens is the surgeon can plan out the perfect surgery for that patient's unique spinal anatomy. And then the robot allows you to reproduce that in the operating room by moving up and down to predetermined positions on the patient's spine. So you were saying uh, earlier that you even plan out the surgery the day or the night before on your computer. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, I'm a nerd, but I, I love sitting there on the computer, taking my time and really drawing out the perfect surgery for that patient based on their unique spinal anatomy. And then what the robot allows you to do is the next day it reproduces it with incredible accuracy. We're talking better than a millimeter of accuracy so that the results are very reproducible. So in a way, a lot of the surgery is actually done before the patient ever gets rolled into the operating room. Okay, we only have 30 seconds left, but I know this was a big question on my mind and probably others as well. Does this then replace doctors and that human element? That's a great question. No, it's still the surgeon's hand, his or her hands, holding all the instruments going into the spine. And it's still the surgeon planning out the surgery ahead of time, which is really the most important part of this. And, of course, in the uh, unlikely or unfortunate event that the, the robot were to have, you know, a malfunction or technical issue, you're still there to be hands-on? I'm still there. And we actually have three robots now because we were all fighting over them. They're so amazing. <laughs> but, yeah, we're still there to do everything if there was an electric malfunction or something. All right. Don't hear that every day, fighting over the robots. <laughs> Thank you so My much pleasure. for Thanks being for with us. Me. This is fascinating technology right here in our own backyard. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. We'll send it back to you now at the desk.